What is up guys? Welcome back to another GeekoWatt video and in this video we're going to be covering what exactly you should do after you've built your brand new gaming PC. You need to install Windows, you need to do your BIOS, your drivers, you don't know where to start. In this video we're going to go through every single step you could possibly need to get your new system up and running and getting all those W's in Fortnite or Cold War or whatever game you happen to play. Let's dive into it after a quick ad from today's video sponsor. Corsair's new IQ5000X chassis puts your system on display front and center. With three RGB fans up front, great water cooling support, and even room for a 360mm rad beside the motherboard tray. Stacks of cable management room and a door at the back to keep drives and cables tidy makes it easy for you to put your system, not your cables, front and center. It's also available in a mesh airflow variant and you can learn more at the links below. So the first thing we've done is we've got our system set up with a keyboard, mouse and a monitor. A few points before we start, make sure your power supply is plugged in and the switch is set to one, that your graphics card cable, whether it be DisplayPort or HDMI is plugged in to the GPU and then to the monitor, not to the back of the motherboard, and then that your peripherals and any ethernet or Wi-Fi adapters are in the rear IO shield here. Right, with those kind of prerequisites out the way, it's about time for us to turn the system on for the very first time. So here we go, we're gonna hit the power button. The fans are spinning, everything is looking good. And our keyboard in a minute is gonna light up as well. While this is doing this, we wanna press delete on the keyboard to get into our motherboard's BIOS. The only thing really we want to do in the BIOS is make sure the RAM is running at the right speed. Different BIOSes do look different, but basically you wanna find your memory settings, sometimes in the advanced tab, and then enable XMP, otherwise called Extreme Memory Profile. We're gonna set this on our motherboard to profile one and make sure that our memory multiplier is set to the right speed of the RAM. In our case, it actually is 3200 megahertz or 32.00. Once we've done this, we then need to plug up a bootable USB. And this is the magical tool we're going to use to install Windows. I'll leave a link down in the description below to the official tool which you use on an existing Windows desktop or laptop. And that basically will wipe a spare USB drive and turn it into Windows Boot Media. Once we go into this, we can then install Windows and it's super duper easy and contrary to popular belief, you don't actually need a product key to do any of this. Not to create the bootable media, not to install Windows or even get gaming. So that's another thing you haven't got to worry about just yet. We're going to pop this into the rear of our motherboard, a little something like this, and then turn our system on, booting back into that bootable Windows drive. Boom, and there we go. So all we've done is exited out the BIOS and it goes by default into the Windows installation setup. This next bit is pretty self-explanatory. We just need to go through, set our language, and then head over to install. I'm gonna guide you through how to make sure you install it on the right drive with the right partitions and all that good stuff. If you've got a product key, you can enter it here, but if you haven't got one, just click, I don't have a product key, and then all you'll end up with is a little watermark, but Windows aren't too hot on actually disabling installs if you don't put one in. Select Windows 10 Home for this PC. If you going for a high-end system, Windows 10 Pro might be more your thing because it supports a slightly higher amount of RAM. We're then going to accept the terms of the agreement uh, and then we're going to install Windows only. Now here you'll see your drive that you plugged into your system. So in our case we've got a 500 gigabyte SSD and all we're going to do is we're just going to click this and click next. It's completely blank at the moment so we've got nothing to worry about on that front. Windows is then going to go ahead and install your operating system from that bootable USB drive onto the drive you've selected. It's going to run through these steps and this can take a sweet minute so we'll see you in just a second. Cool so here we go we're now through to the final kind of stages of setup we're going to click United Kingdom because we are indeed from Great Britain and then we're going to select our keyboard layout we are once again United Kingdom yes uh, we don't want a second layout and then we're going to go ahead and connect up to our Wi-Fi we are of course going to have to blur all of this <laughs> so apologies. I swear the Windows installation just gets longer and longer every time. More blurring, lots of blurring today. And then Windows is going to ask you about all your privacy settings. I tend to click no on all of these. I'm just going to opt out of everything without fail. <laughs> uh, ooh, no, um, I don't care. Just, just, just give me Windows. I want to play some games. I've got blur, blur, please blur. No, no, Cortana, no! I don't want Cortana! And then finally, we're now through to the last, the very last, I promise, stages of Windows setup. This might take several minutes, is the understatement of the year. But, you know, it's not too difficult to get into Windows and get it all set up. And just like that, we're now into Windows. It's gonna harass us and try and get us to use Microsoft Edge. Who does it think we are? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Edge and we're gonna install Chrome. And once we've installed Chrome, we're then gonna do all of our drivers and that kind of thing. So we're really ready to dive into some games. Once we're into Chrome, installing drivers is pretty easy. If you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you want to download GeForce uh, Experience,
experience. This is NVIDIA's driver application. It's gonna keep your drivers for any NVIDIA GPU nice and up to date. Let's hit download. If you're AMD, you want AMD's Radeon software, uh, which I'll link alongside GeForce Experience down in the description below. We're then just gonna run through the NVIDIA GeForce Experience setup process before we can go ahead and install the graphics card drivers. And then of course do the motherboard and CPU drivers and all that good stuff. Uh, agree and install and this is going to take just a few seconds and then once we've logged in it's going to automatically search online and find the latest GeForce game ready driver you can see this one here is from the 7th of January uh, so very recently and we're downloading it here it's about 600 meg so it is going to take for us seven or eight minutes with our slow UK internet we only get 100 down it's a bit sad really I should add that it's pretty normal for your display to flicker on and off during this installation that's because of course it's rewriting how your GPU is actually communicating with the system so that means sometimes the GPU just has to take a pause for a second. <laughs> Once it's finally downloaded, you can then go ahead and either use Express or Custom Installation. I just tend to go with Express because Nvidia normally install everything that I want anyway, so it's just easier and guarantees that nothing's gonna cause us any headaches later on. One thing you are gonna have to do after you've installed your drivers is restart. So we'll go ahead and do this now, get it out of the way, and then we're gonna have to do that for our motherboard drivers as well in just a second. Here we go. Now, I promise it's not actually 20 past two in the morning. We uh, we don't work that late at Geeky Media. Uh, we can jump into Windows. Oh, what's the password? That's the password. Now we're in. And our GPU drivers are installed. You can see as well, it's fixed our display scaling issues. This is now looking beautiful on this Asus monitor, which once again, I'll link in the description below. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is just install all the drivers for our motherboard today. So you wanna grab the name of your motherboard, put it into Chrome and just put the word drivers at the end and you'll get the right web page. You'll usually find this in the support tab and then you wanna just select your OS. So we're on Windows 10 64 bit. And then here you can see you got plenty of options. So the first of those drivers we're gonna install is our Realtek HD audio driver. So we're gonna download that one. We're also gonna make sure we've got our chipset drivers installed. So we want Windows 10, beautiful. We're also going to install our LAN drivers. This is for our ethernet port and make sure everything is working nice and efficiently as you would expect. And then we don't need to worry about BIOS because they're already fine. And we're just gonna look at the utilities. Now Gigabyte do have an app center in an easy tune program, which helps you overclock RAM and CPU and monitor temperatures. So that could also be something to play around with, but it isn't a driver. It isn't gonna improve the performance of your system. So you don't have to worry about it if you're trying to keep things simple. And once we've jumped through each of those hoops, we're able to jump into Task Manager and just double check that all the hardware is being picked up correctly. So we've got a Ryzen 5 3600X, and you can see here that we've got our lovely six cores and 12 threads. We've got RAM running at 3200 megahertz, which we set up in the BIOS earlier. It's always good to double check that. And then it's also picking up our GPU, which means our drivers are successfully installed. An RTX 3060 Ti, which at the minute, outside of gaming, is not really being used. On that note, with all the drivers installed, you're now ready to boot up your favorite game and get that all-important W. I hope you found this video both informative and a little bit enjoyable. And if you'd like to see us build this system or any of the other machines over on the channel, make sure you get subscribed if you aren't already. And check out the PC build playlist on your screen now. Thank you very much for watching, though. And as always, we will see you in the next one. One.